grass shields. It slowed down like a while ago, yeah, yeah. was cold, you know, but it's yeah. kind of catching up now, like, you know, yeah, keeping the cows going at a minute. Good. As Dennis and Andrew discussed how the grass had been performing so far this year, Fraser and I ran through his drone handover training. This would allow him to keep his family's farm's grass yields optimised for their 180 head dairy herd. Set in the beautiful rolling countryside of Shropshire, this is not necessarily the first place you would expect to see big autonomous drones in daily action. But Fraser has other plans. But before he could get to work, he had to run through his standard safety checks. Central to all the training that goes into getting your drone spray operator's license is a heavy focus on proactive maintenance. Remember, it's safety first. Then it was time to load up with fertiliser and get on with the serious business of growing better grass. Fraser of Aerial Applications, plans to use his new XAG P100 Pro to keep his farm's grass in top condition by applying fertiliser when and where it's needed, but without creating the ruts or compacting his soil. And as the plant protection products to control thistles and broadleaf weeds like docks become approved for aerial application, he'll continue to drive to improve the farm's yield and optimise milk output. Fraser also plans to offer a drone contracting service to other farmers in the region. As part of the training exercise, we plotted the drone's flight to take in a couple of safe obstacles. Notice how it spots the water tank, assesses the situation and then decides that it's safe to continue with its work. Pretty impressive. Once the job was complete and the drone had landed, Fraser had one more trick up his sleeve, or should I say trouser leg. He'd heard how the P100 Pro's props can rub on each other during transit and had cut the legs off an old pair of overalls to act as a farm tough protective sleeves. If you like the idea, you better hurry, because Fraser plans to patent the idea.